I love I love the metal tin that these paints come in and size wise this 24 set is pretty much perfect for my needs it fits really easily into my hand for when I'm painting outside it's not very heavy so I'll be able to hold it for quite a long time and it has enough space in here that I'll be able to put a uh, paintbrush or two in if I want 24 colors is also a ton to choose from so many, in fact, that there's some of the colors in here that I just won't use. So I'll be swapping them out, which is extremely simple because you can just lift these little half pans. You can just lift these little half pans out and pop in some empties. Another nice thing about the Mungio paints is that if you want to order a replacement paint, say you've used all of yours up, they do make and sell half pans that you can find and buy. And I know some people prefer to do that. So to set this up for a color chart so I know what's in here so that I can take it with me wherever I go, the so to set up this pan, the first thing I'm going to do is make a color chart. Because once I unwrap these little chiclets, all of this information is going to be gone and it's going to be harder for me to know what paint is which. A color chart is a reference that I want to have access to every time I use this paint. So I'll, I want it to fit in to this tin. This is easy enough to do by tracing the bottom of the tray and then it'll be able to fit in the bottom as well. I'm just working on a piece of watercolor paper. So it fits pretty nicely. Now on this sheet, I want to have space to have the name and a swatch of each color of paint, as well as information that I find useful to have like light fastness and pigment information. I also want to have it show up clearly, so once I've decided my spacing, I'll ink the letters in a permanent pen. Uh, this is a Stedler pigment liner, 0 0.05. It is waterproof on paper, light fast, and indelible. So I want to make sure I have enough room on the sheet to put a, 
I want to make sure I have enough room on the sheet to put a color swatch as well as the name of each color plus some information that I find helpful to have on hand which will be the pigment number and then the name of the color. Uh, the pigment number, the light fastness information, and of course the color name.
I still have a little bit of information to add, which I will do as I unwrap each of my little chiclets. I still have a little bit of information to add, which I will do once I unwrap each of my little chiclets. Every one I unwrap, I'm going to make very, very sure I put back in the place that is indicated on the map. Otherwise, the map won't work very well. I will also be putting in two empty half pans for colors that I am subbing out. And I will fill them with color shortly.